Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hakuna La Planta. My name is Kevin, and today is not a propagation video. So I know my main content on this channel is propagations, but I thought I should take a break, probably just for one video, because I think the next one after this is going to be a propagation video. But I was watching a video that Wild Fern recently uploaded. She basically talked about her top five plants uh, for the month of February, and I was like, I want to talk about my plants and how much I love them. And so because we're in the month of March, I'm just going to talk about my top six favorite plants for this month. Before I start this video, if you like these kind of videos and you like my content, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on Instagram if you like planty pictures, planty situations, and all that. Okay, so I guess I'll start with the one that you could see right here. So this is my Philodendron Plowmanii, and uh, the reason why it's a uh, favorite of this month is because it recently pushed out this leaf, and I'll just give you guys a closer look here, but oh damn, she is so pretty. Um, I was having issues with this plant. I linked it to nutrient burn, but I'm not 100% sure uh, that was the case. And I basically linked it to the yellowing of the edges of the leaves here. So this is one of the leaves. You could see the bottom here. And then the one before, the one that I just showed you, has a little bit of burn here. But I think it might have been because of poor air circulation. Again, I'm not sure. And so at that time when I thought I was over fertilizing, I basically flushed the whole plant and then I diluted the nutrient solution by half. And so she actually didn't do anything for two months, but then she pushed, I can't talk. She pushed out this gigantic leaf. And just for perspective, guys, this is the leaf previous to this one. And you could see the size comparison here. Whoa. Crazy. Another reason why she's a favorite of this month is because she's actually putting out a new leaf. So, I mean, I think she's happy now. I, I have no words. One theory that I have uh, about this plant and why it's doing well now is because these plants are terrestrial plants and they like to climb. They don't like to climb. They like to crawl. And so when they crawl, you could see that um, there are roots that kind of dig into the ground. And basically, if you have a larger root system, a larger, healthier root system, the growth kind of matures and you get bigger growth here. And so, yeah, I think that's what's happening. You could see that she's almost at the end of this pot and I'm going to have to repot her, which is insane to me. But yeah, that's the first plant. This is the Philodendron Plowmanii. Okay, so moving on to the second plant. This plant is one that I've had for a while. And I'm not gonna lie, I was very disappointed with the growth and how slow it was going. So the second plant is the Skindapsis trubii Moonlight. So these leaves have this silvery kind of sheen situation. And yeah, she's finally growing and the leaves are a lot larger than um, I guess the original leaves, obviously. But she honestly just started pushing out growth and I've had this plant for like a year. And before I was like, oh, this plant doesn't like LECA. The roots are so sensitive. Like, why isn't it growing? And I actually posted a picture on Instagram and honestly, thank you guys so much for sharing the struggle about how slow this plant is because I thought I was doing something wrong and like everyone, not everyone, but like a lot of people were saying that this plant is extremely slow and so I don't know that initially. So thank you guys for confirming that I wasn't crazy and I wasn't hurting the plant, but I mean, she's cute now. Look at these leaves. I just, I think this is the newest leaf. Yeah. So pretty, these leaves. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's actually three plants, actually, there's two or three plants in here and um, yeah, I just can't wait till this grows much larger. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to move it. I mean, I technically moved it to show you guys, but I don't want to touch it because it's finally growing and I'm just so happy. She's a little cutie. Oh my God, look at her. Okay, so again, guys, the Skindapsis trubii Moonlight. 
The third plant is one that I am not really experienced with. And this plant is an orchid. So this is, she's truly a stunner. This is the, the name is leaving my mind. <laughs> what is it? Um, Phalaenopsis <laughs> um, Mitu Diamond Panda. So I got this plant in December and oh, look at these flowers. Oh, okay. Uh, put you down. I just can't get over how beautiful this is. But I got this plant in December from Crystal Star Nursery and it came, I think I have a picture. So I'll put a picture here of how it came to me. Um, you could see that it's in spike and no blooms yet, but um, now she does. And it's, it's, oh my gosh. So this one was the first one that came out. And I think it's honestly so adorable that because this leaf is technically supposed to be white also, but it's purple and she's so cute. I'm like awkward. Um, and then this one came out after. So this is the classic uh, flower that it usually looks like. So, wow. And yeah, like I said, oh my gosh, she looks so cute and small <laughs> beside me. But like I said, my mom was really into orchids. I never got into them until I just decided to open up my mind in December and I'm so glad that I did because oh, why are you so cute? I do have a question if y'all are orchid fanatics or love orchids. Um, the leaf shape, not the leaf shape, the leaf color kind of looks, I don't know if you could tell, but it is a little yellow. I did read that uh, Phalaenopsis leaves should be not deep green or deep dark green they should have they should be a little lighter and I don't know I don't know if I'm giving it too much light or if they're just supposed to look like this if you have any ideas please let me know in the comment section below I'd really like to know because I don't want this to die okay again the third plant is the Phalaenopsis mid to diamond panda Okay, the fourth plant is also in bloom right now, but like a little different, I guess. But this is my Alocasia Silver Dragon. So, oh, sorry, she's in this like big black bucket in Lekka, um, but I don't know if y'all can see it, but right in the center, look at her. So I was originally, this video was supposed to be a top five, but this morning, this plant finally opened, like the flower opened up. And for those that have alocasias that have bloomed, the smell is very, very strong. And it's like, I still can't pinpoint the smell. It's like minty and like cucumbery and like, I don't know if I like it. I mean, I've warmed up to it, but it's, it's a unique smell. I don't think I could describe it properly. So this is the first time this plant has bloomed. Um, you could see that there is another one here. I don't know, maybe I'll zoom in because I don't want to, this thing's heavy, but there's one right beside it. So it's gonna bloom again sometime in the future. And I think in my house plant tour that I posted in January, I had this like weird conspiracy that was over fertilizing my plants and I still don't truly know if that's the reason why there's like crispinesses and like yellowing on the edges but then I saw the inflorescence coming out and I was like okay I'm not gonna touch it I'm gonna obviously keep with my fertilization because the flowers need them okay so again the fourth plant is the or I guess the showcase or like the focus of this plant is the inflorescence so the alocasia silver dragon flower i guess <laughs> okay so the fifth plant is a plant that i get a lot of questions about and i think i get a lot of questions because this plant is like really hard to grow if you don't have the right conditions specifically humidity but this is my philodendron brantiatum so <laughs> let me just y'all she's all the way at the top here um, so I did post a video talking about philodendron, Brett, philodendron brantiatum care 
and she was probably because I had to attach another moss pole to this she was probably like up to here I'll find the clip or something here here's a video I think yeah she was like up here I'm not sure and I didn't want to just serve this plant so she's in the same medium same pot I just took a skinnier moss pole and like zip tied it to the whole whole thing here and she climbed like oh, okay you know what guys I'm gonna have to like bring you with me because she is a stunner and I want you to see her in all her glory okay guys so here she is I'm just doing a pen upwards so this is the point so that's where I attached the moss pole right over here because I didn't want to propagate her yet and I didn't want to transfer her um, she gets a little top heavy but um, but the ones up here guys these leaves can we can we talk for a minute and like it just continues like girl I mean this one I think I ripped it like look at that but like she's at the top like I could barely reach her what is happening I'm just so happy like who would have thought guys Jeez. okay let's just again look at her <laughs> just so happy but because she's at the top I think I might have to prop her up I don't want to chop her up but I have to this might be the last time you see her in this tall pot here but oh I just love her she's so pretty can y'all see this like this is crazy Ooh, spilling okay let me put you down now. Okay, so I put her down, but the fifth plant was the Philodendron Brantiatum. Okay, so the last one, I'm standing over here because I'm grabbing it, but this one shocked me so much. Right? Like, what's happening here? <laughs> so this is my Anthurium for Catum. I thought it was going to take longer for this plant to mature, but it didn't. Um, the leaf previous to that looked like this and when I saw this I was like oh my gosh she is maturing so fast and I thought the leaves are gonna be this size but let me compare if I can this is hard okay the fear that I'm gonna snap something is like real right now look at the difference because this one was the one before this one move it move it closer this is crazy. I personally, maybe I like awkward plants, but <laughs> I think this plant is so underrated. Like no one's talking about it. I mean, there's some hype because this plant also goes by the name of the Tesla plant because of the shape. Obviously there's a lot of old leaves that have come and gone, but this is the oldest leaf here. So they usually look they're just long without these ears. The next one after that was a little bit of a wonky one, but still so cute. Then this one. And then this one here. You could see that I have this mountain of spectrum moss. There are a lot of uh, kind of adventitious roots around the main stem. Um, and I want it to get bigger. So, I mean... We'll see what happens. Uh, again, a plant that just shocked me in the past few days because, ugh, so pretty. <sighs> okay, guys, I guess that's it. Do you like these kind of videos? Um, I don't do many of these videos just because I'm kind of um, preoccupied with chopping up my plants and propagating them. I do have to say, though, this was a lot of fun. Maybe I'll do these more. Maybe, like, Maybe like a monthly thing. Please let me know if that's something you guys want to see. If not, I'll just stick with the propagation videos. And yeah, let me know in the comment section below what are some of your favorite plants at the moment. I don't know if this makes it seem like I don't care, but my favorite plants and the list of my favorite plants is constantly changing just based on their growth. And I don't know if that's like an insensitive thing towards my plants, but I do love them. Like I love all my plants. I wouldn't have them if I didn't love them except for that skeleton key. That one is problematic. 
I'm kidding. But um, yeah, if you've made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.